Hi, good morning. It's time to make a toddler friendly, friendly craft and today's craft is actually going to be friendly for um, toddlers, preschoolers, or even elementary kids will have fun with this because it's a little bit magical. Um, the first thing you need to do is you or your child, depending on their age, draw a scene of some kind. I drew a farm, but you could do an underwater scene or you could do a park. Whatever you want to do, you could even draw, have your child draw their room. And then we're gonna take this piece of paper and stick it into a Ziploc bag. If you don't have a Ziploc bag that's big enough, you could also use um, one of those clear sheet protectors, that would work as well. So once you have your paper in your bag, you or your child, depending on their skills, go ahead and outline your drawing with some permanent markers. I would not recommend using um, washable markers because they are going to smear as you're drawing. I'm just going to quickly outline most of this. When you're doing it, I would recommend, of course, outlining everything that you drew. But for time's sake, I'm just going to do parts of mine. And the more detail you add, the more it's going to be fun to look at once we finish. So what we're actually doing is we're going to draw all of this and we're going to put it together and make it like a, a flash. We're going to make a flashlight to look into it so it looks like you're looking in the dark. So if you wanted to actually make your farm, if you're making a farm scene, make it look like it's dark and hide some animals. That way you have to find animals in your scene. I'm obviously not making this greatly detailed. But you can make as much detail as you want on yours. Go ahead and draw my cat over here. And then once you've outlined all of your picture, then go ahead and color some of it in with your permanent markers. Go ahead and color my barn red for you. And even the permanent markers might smear a little bit. So just do the best you can and have fun. I'm gonna make my roof black. I'm gonna go ahead and color in my trees green. Okay, that's all I'm going to color in. But of course, whenever you make yours, go ahead and feel free to color in all of yours or some of it, add as much or as little detail as you want. And go ahead and make the sky blue. Okay, so after you've done that, I'm gonna make some grass green too. Make a little bit of green grass. Okay, next we're going to take your piece of paper out. We're actually finished with that piece of paper. And what you have next is your picture on the Ziploc bag. And you're going to take some black paper. You can either use black construction paper or you can color a piece of paper black or print out, print out a piece of um, paper. Just make your, I did it in Publisher, but you could do it in Word. Make a big black box and print that, whatever you have available, and stick that in your Ziploc bag. And that makes it very hard to see your picture. It's very black, like that. And the next thing you're gonna do is using a white piece of paper 
or cardstock, go ahead and draw a flashlight. And you want to make sure that you also draw the beam of light that's coming out of the flashlight and leave that part white. Make sure you don't color it. And then cut it out. Or if your child is practicing cutting skills, go ahead and have them cut it out. Like I said, the important thing here is to have plenty of light coming from your flashlight because we're gonna use it to take a peek inside our bag and see what's there. Okay, so here's the cool part. Take your flashlight beam and you're gonna put it into your bag. And then you can take a peek at what's in there. See, you can look around, oh, and see some trees see what else we can find. There's a garden, some flowers, there's the big red barn. It's a little bit of an optical illusion because you're only seeing what is underneath the flashlight. So it makes it look like you're peeking around in the dark. So that is today's flashlight craft and I hope you have fun with it. Do go ahead and take a picture and post it in the comments. We really want to know if you're participating in our live videos. Uh, we love doing these for you and giving you ideas, so let us know if you're doing it at home. Thanks, bye.